or not, it was actually against the law for an African American motorist to pass a white motorist on the road no matter how slowly they were driving during this era. Can you believe that? That, oh. <laughs> read the book or, you, or you've heard it, but I had no idea, no idea. And I would submit that that alone would be reason for a couple million to leave the South for that one, but really. Uh, I, I mean, when you're driving behind someone and they're going five, five miles an hour and they're, they're lost, that is, a, that, is a, that is a trying moment, truly. And during that era, it was a moment that was uh, not just uh, a time of, of stress within you as a motorist, but that was potentially a life or death matter to de determine whether you want to do that or not. Because remember, during that era, every four days, every four days an African American was lynched for some perceived breach of the caste system that I've described to you. And we often think about the Emmett Tills of the world, people who might have uh, lost their lives because of some uh, uh, perceived or accusation of some untoward remark or gesture toward uh, a white woman in the South at that time. But actually, the reasoning behind, the reason